Ali, just what do you think allowed you all to have so much success in the run game on Saturday? Um, you know, just uh, being able to come to the sidelines, make our sideline adjustments, um, you know, really just uh, stuff that Coach trains every day is just playing with effort and strain and wanting to uh, be able to finish. You know, we had five guys up front that were really wanting to uh, make the big plays happen that did. And all in all, I feel like that it was just mostly just because of the way that we prepare each and every week for each opponent. What about Jake and then Eric? Ali, on Tyon's touchdown run, you raised your arms as he was getting out ahead of you. Just what was going through your mind on that play, and, and uh, what did you see? Um, so basically, we got the play calling, and I was like, I knew I was going to pull. And I told myself, like, I'm going to make this the best pull I've ever had. And when I pulled across, got off the pull, and I looked up, I saw no one in front of Tyon. I was like, oh, that's a touchdown. So I mean, I immediately threw my hands up, playing with a lot of emotion. So. Eric? I know it's a right here. I know it's a new coaching staff and everything. But you've been in the program a couple of years. Mm -hmm. you know, do you think sitting back, watching, working hard has prepared you for you know this year to get get a lot of playing time? Yeah, I, I would 100 uh, percent agree with that. You know, I being uh, in the program for this is my fourth season. Um, you know, kind of sitting back, taking in all the information, watching the film, preparing, making the corrections for my mistakes uh, each year, and just kind of like seeing the process as it's gone along, especially for me. You know, one thing that I talk to my parents about a lot, too, is just like you've been in it, you've worked through everything that you've uh, it's been faced to you, and you continue to strive even through everything that's happened and everything that's going to happen. So definitely just being able to sit back those last three years and really absorb all the information from all the great players that I've gotten to see play in positions before me and being able to kind of replicate and do the best I can. Ollie, two things. Um, one, taking that a step further, you're, you played high school ball here in Knoxville, you're here, you've been in the program for a while, like you mentioned, but now getting to, to actually be on the field and be a, an important part of this football team, what, what does that mean to you to have that kind of, uh, of playing time and opportunity here at UT? Uh, I mean, I basically describe it as I'm living the dream. You know, every time coming up through high school at Gibbs, you know, it was my dream to come and play football here at Tennessee, and then when I finally got the opportunity, I knew it's exactly the decision I wanted to make. and through these years of being able to not only um, have support from my parents, but also a huge support from the community. I mean, after every game this season, I've had texts from my uh, high school coaches and stuff, just how much they're proud of me and how they uh, continue to use me as an example for their current players of this is what it takes to do what you want to do, and this is kind of like your example. So, And what are some of the specific areas of your game that you've improved on that's allowed you to take advantage of your playing time opportunity? Um, I would definitely say I've just, I've, this offseason I worked a lot on just being able to get myself in the correct position, being able to use the techniques that were being taught, being able to do everything that I could possibly do to make myself a better team or better player, not only for the team but for myself as well. Um, you know, just working everything and trying to replicate everything that coach is trying to teach us. Wow. Yeah, Ollie, I know that it's just one game and y'all are focusing on South Carolina now, but if, if you could kind of take us back to, to Saturday, when you think of everything that happened to the program after last year's Missouri game and, and how many bad things went, how many bad things went the wrong way, how nice did it feel to kind of have a moment like Saturday as a team to sort of maybe get through some of that? Um, it was definitely, um, it was one of those moments where it's just, you, can't, you kind of look back at where you've been and then you see where you're headed and how you still, I mean, we still got a long way to go to be where we want to be, but to see the hard work and perseverance finally pay off has been huge for us, and I think it's going to help continue to give uh, us a big motivational push as we continue through the season. Probably following up on, on Tyon's run, did you sprint all the way down <laughs> to, to the goal line to celebrate, and, and how tired were you after running 90 something yards like he did? Uh, you know, I used to do that a lot when I played in high school, but that was also about 40 pounds ago. So I used to be athletic, but as I got down there and I celebrated with him, but when I got to the sideline, I immediately sat on the bench and took a couple deep breaths in, but it was definitely worth it. Is that, is that the furthest out you've ever celebrated a touchdown run by a teammate, 90 something yards? Uh, definitely, definitely was probably the longest I've ever ran to celebrate with somebody. Right. Ali, you mentioned the work that you put in. Where, where's your confidence level right now? And, and 
Maybe what was the lowest point uh, of your confidence level the last couple of years compared to where you are right now? Um, you know, com uh, going back to, I guess, when I first got here and stuff like that, you know, being a new kid that came, coming from the offense that I came from, you know, I didn't really know a whole lot about different, like, pass pro techniques and stuff like that. And just being able to sit sit back and learn it, it was it kind of like it was part of me just sitting back and taking the hits that I took to just kind of be able to teach myself what I needed to learn. And then, I mean, looking at it now, I, you know, I can look back to my first spring here and it's, I've come a long way, but I still got a lot more that I need to do. But I would, I would say th as the years have gone by, my confidence level has continued to increase, and this is just something that kind of helps build it along the way. Uh, Ali, the offense couldn't be any di any more different now from the way it was last year. As an offensive lineman, how big of a change and transition has it been for you from the last offense to this one with the tempo? Um, you know, it definitely it, it has been somewhat of a change because you know, obviously with the tempo piece of our offense, we would like to move at a very high pace, but. Also, going back to when I was in high school, you know, running the triple option, we went games where we didn't even throw the ball once. It was just straight run game, run game, run game. And so, I mean, I've had that kind of built up endurance um, in my body for uh, years now. And so it's kind of something that I was able to adjust to quickly. And being able to keep up with the, the pace of the tempo has been, uh, it's been hard at times, but at the same time, like you can see how it pays off and it's definitely worth it to be, you know, you're a little tired, but you know, like, if you just keep pushing, like, things are going to hit, things are going to be great, so. Ali, what is the, uh, what has it been like for you under Coach Ellerby, just going back to that confidence development and, what you know, working on um, even just technical stuff like your footwork and things like that, what has he been to you in that? Um, you know, Coach Ellerby has been in a uh, phenomenal coach for me. Uh, he's, you know, he's one of those guys that's going to sit back and he's going to talk with you, he's going to coach you through things. Um, he's really going to, he works with you really well. Um, one thing, you know, ever since he's been here is that we've hit, you know, being able to play multiple positions, being able to know all the calls, being able to run, if I uh, needed to, being able to run the offense uh, from the center position as well as also tackle and both guards. So, I mean, one thing that he's really worked with me on is just being versatile and being able to do everything that he thinks I can do. And him having that trust and belief in me has helped build my confidence a lot. Eric? Yeah, kind of on that, uh, with, with Ellerby, where have you seen yourself grow the most as a player in terms of maybe your technique or whatever the case might be? Um, I would definitely say like being able to actually talk through technique, being able to work on it one-on-one, -on -one, uh, whether it be with Coach Ellerby or uh, Coach Age or Coach Hoodie, being able to really focus in, take that extra time after practice or before practice or even during summer workouts or something like that, being able to take that step back and actually uh, really focus on like where my weak areas are, drills I can do to make it stronger and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, it, it just goes back to being able to go out there and know that they have the trust and the confidence in me to go out there and perform the way that they uh, think I will gives me that extra boost. Kind of as a follow-up, uh, you mentioned you know coming from Gibbs and the, a different offense. Was there ever a time young in your career or early in your career you felt maybe overwhelmed or did you know that it would just take you know, reps and patience? Um, yeah, when I first got here it was definitely it was a little bit overwhelming you know when um, me and uh, Jerome came in that first winter, I think it was 2017. You know, there was only about 10 offensive linemen out there for that spring practice. And um, it was definitely like we kind of got thrown into the fire a little bit, having to learn everything. But honestly, those reps, even though they weren't perfect, it was reps that I needed to be able to work on my craft and get better. And then as the years have gone on, just continuously working and working and working. Any more questions? Ben, last one. Holly, take us onto the field and maybe even the sideline with Hendon Hooker. What, what what impresses you, and what have you seen from him and being the, the, such a successful quarterback recently? Um, Hendon's a real positive guy. He brings the energy. He makes everybody around him uh, play at that higher level. He continuously motivates us on the sidelines, and he's a great leader on the field. Uh, Ollie, what have you seen from Cade this year, and has it helped him? You think to to kind of settle in at one spot and play that right tackle spot this year? Um, you know, I definitely uh, I think it helps him to be able to just go in, uh, day in and day out, focusing at one position. But I mean, you know, Cade's an excellent player. He's a great leader, and he's kind of one of those guys that really takes um, pride in being able to. Um, 
not only be a great player for himself, but also be a great leader for the offensive line. He's someone that we can look up to, and if we have questions or if we have problems, he's someone that we can go to, no questions asked. You mentioned, you mentioned before that this is sort of the, the dream to play here. How prevalent do you think that is for Knoxville kids growing up, East Tennessee kids to play here? Uh, I mean, I know I can only speak for myself, but I mean, as I grew up, you know, my dad's from Knoxville, and so I mean, we were always ball fans. You know, my whole room at home is just orange and white all over the place. So I mean, it's definitely like, I mean, there's a lot of uh, kids in the Knoxville area that love the Tennessee Volunteers and like it, given any opportunity they would come out here and play their hearts out and that's kind of something that I've kind of taken with me as I've continued through here is just knowing like this is my dream this is what I want to do and this is me being able to live out my dream. Thanks,